Welcome to another video. Right guys, I'm going to be completely frank with all of you. As my YouTube channel has gotten more popular, in other words, the more subscribers I get, the more often I'm contacted by people who want me to advertise their little startups here in China and especially Shenzhen. I'm talking about people who want me to advertise their books or perhaps their businesses here or apps or any kind of ideas. And there are so many people who say, oh, come and do an interview with me. I'm an interesting person or check out my business or etc, etc. And I always turn them down because my YouTube channel is not about advertising. My YouTube channel is about providing information to expats who want to come and live in China or people who are interested in China. So only if I find something that I think my subscribers can find useful, then of course I'm interested in checking it out. Now I was contacted a while ago by a subscriber who said that she works for a chain of medical clinics. Now it's not just in Shenzhen, apparently they've got branches all over the country and actually opening up in different places. Already they're in Beijing and I think in Guangzhou and they'll be opening up in Chengdu and Hong Kong and various other places in the future. Anyway, she said that it's a chain of medical clinics that are aimed at helping foreigners. Now, I'm skeptical because, again, I'm a little bit concerned that they're just looking for some free advertising. But if her claims are true, if it really is a clinic where a foreigner can be helped out, because working in the medical field myself, I know how inadequate the Chinese hospitals are at helping out foreigners. In fact, you know, it's, it's just a nightmare, the language barrier, the methodology. I've done videos about this in the past, but if there's a chance that her clinic is what she says it is, it's worth checking out. So I'm going to go there this morning with my friend Min Su from Korea, who's behind the camera right now. And I'm very lucky that he's brought his really fancy camera along. So we're going to go there and we're going to check it out. And you guys come along with me. If it turns out to be useful, I'll publish this video. If not, well, you won't be seeing this. Anyway, let's uh, finish our morning coffees and then we're going to be heading out to see this clinic. And yeah, see you there. Right, I'd like to introduce you to my subscribers. So how about a self-introduction? Thank you, Winston. So, oh. hello, I'm Michal, Michal Lubel. Uh, I've been living in China for a bit more than seven years. And since uh, I've been living here, I've been watching uh, the YouTube channel of Winston and enjoying it and understanding how much it is useful for subscribers to understand about life in China. And I've been working with Distinct Healthcare, and here is our clinic, and you're welcome to visit us today and get to know about us, more details about us and our services. Right, guys, let's see. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Ah, oh, very good. I would like to ask you, if I come to you right now okay. and I'm feeling very sick, okay. what can I do? Your first time to come here? Yeah. Okay, you can fill out this uh, richest form. Okay. All right, great. Well, you see, that's something I like to see. We actually have English and Chinese on the form, so that really is very, very useful. Okay, okay excellent. After I finish, I, I will help you to look in, in, my, in our system. Right. And, and and doctor, and when it's available, then you can come to see doctor. Hey, thank you very much. Like, seriously, guys, I didn't give him any warning. He had no idea that I was going to speak to him in English, and there we go. So, that's the first proof that this is the right place to go. Let's go walk around and see what we can find out. Now, they tried. They're trying to arrange for me to speak to all the proper kind of doctors, etc. But I'm actually just going to go surprise some people and see if they're actually prepared. Let's go. All right. Now I know this might seem trivial, but for someone like myself who has been training doctors for years now, and someone who's very familiar with Chinese hospitals, to see a sign like that over there is a breath of fresh air. Because I've actually been prescribed antibiotics that I was allergic to before in the past, going to hospitals here. So let's walk around a little more and let's try to speak to some of the staff. Everyone's, everyone's running away. All right. 
Excuse me. Hello, Jesse. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Winston would like to. Can I ask? <laughs> Can I introduce myself? Hi. My name is Winston. Nice to meet you. My name is Annabelle. Nice to meet you also. Very good. What do you do here, Annabelle? Oh, I'm actually in charge here. You're in charge. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, good. So, if a foreigner is sick and wants to come to your clinic, um, what is it that they need to do? Uh, they need to actually call out to make an appointment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then uh, normally we ask some a few questions like their name mm -hmm. and the age and the symptoms, all this. Then it, uh, also uh, we will ask them whether they are uh, covered by insurance. Right. Uh, yeah. If they are covered by insurance, then they have to get a card and also the passport. Right. To identify them. Oh, that's interesting. So do you accept international medical insurance here? Yes. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. That's very useful. Thanks a lot. All right, let's move, move around a little more. So they're very well equipped here. <clears throat> Looks like they can take care of just about everything. They've got uh, dermatologists, gynecologists. They've got, you know, pediatrics division. So basically they can take care of pretty much everything. I also saw they've got a dental clinic on the way in. So this is really useful. It's kind of like an all-in-one place. Okay, we're going to go and take a look at their pharmacy over here. <clears throat> Hi, sorry. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, Thank I'm you. fine. Good. good. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. Sure. Um, could you show me a box of Tylenol over there? Uh, Tylenol, this yeah. one. Mm. And we have their tablet also. We have two. One okay. for adult, another one for the kids. Thank you. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, now... The reason why I've asked to see Tylenol is because that's a brand that I think most of you guys overseas will recognize. Now, when you look at the box, you'll see it's got Chinese all over it. And there's a big concern with fake drugs here in China. And it's, it's a genuine concern because hospitals get paid kickbacks in order to sell generic or fake drugs. And it is something that goes on, unfortunately. But <clears throat> what we have here is we have a situation where these are proper legitimate drugs from overseas and what what they need to do is they need to repackage them in order to meet the Chinese FDA because they have to be tested by the Chinese you know equivalent of the FDA and then after that they get put into a Chinese box but it is actually the real thing so for all of you guys out there who come across this sort of packaging and you're worried you know as long as you're getting it from a reputable place like this clinic seems to be then you're okay so that explains why you've got Tylenol, but, you know, all full of Chinese. Don't worry, it's not fake. It's not a knockoff. It's the real deal. All right. Hi. Is Dr. Helen available? Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet here. you, too. Okay, Very yeah. good. So today, shall we just uh, sit down to have a discussion about well, it? Well, we're just here to walk around the clinic and talk about the clinic and I just have a few questions for you. Okay, sure. Shall we just sit down? Yeah, we can, we can sit down if you like. Yes. Okay. Okay, so truth be told, I'm only here because I think that this clinic or your chain of clinics can be useful to my subscribers. You see, yes. I have a lot of subscribers and they worry and they send me messages to say when they're in China, what can they do if they get sick? What happens in an emergency? So this is my question to you. If one of my subscribers, a foreigner living here in Shenzhen or one of the other cities mm. where you have a branch, if they get sick or they have an emergency in the middle of the night, what can they do? What shall we do? Yeah. Yes, for the emergencies, especially at the night time. Mm. Yeah, how can we look for help? Sure. We also have an emergency 24 hours on call systems. Okay, great. So at any time, you mm -hmm. just call this number. Right. Okay, later on I will give this packet to you. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, so you can just tell them this is the number you can get a call. Okay. okay, so we will help you mm -hmm. to go to the hospital, either as government hospital or the private hospital. Right. Okay. For example, at night time, most of the private hospital the clinic will be closed. Right. Yeah. So we may introduce you to mm -hmm. the government hospital, but you know in China, most government hospitals, doctors and also the nurses can't speak English. Yeah, yeah, it's no, the I, problem. I, I train them. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> you train them. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So, what we can do is, and also we can offer the help, we will have one person to company with this sick 
patient to go to the government hospital together. Right. Okay. Okay. Still. So okay. basically, it's like a, a service where you will escort the person to the hospital, okay. translate for them, help them out with anything they need. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's very useful. So making use of the government facilities. But yes, having like a chaperone. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, otherwise you will have some barren new language and also mm. you are sick. Maybe you don't know how to, I mean, to, to let them know what's the problem. Sure, sure, so sure. it's better to have a like, chaperone uh, accompany with you. Yeah. Then you can have more useful information and mm. also you may feel much comfortable. Yeah. yeah, that's a great service. You know, that's something that I always end up doing my, for my subscribers because you know I know the system and they always have to call me and I have to help them out. So, <laughs> Maybe um, we can just help you as well. You yeah, know, that's great. Know. That's great. Yeah. All right, guys. Good. Well, I'm definitely going to be giving you all the information for these guys because if health is one of your concerns, these guys do like, look like the people that can really help you out. Okay. Well, thank you very much for actually getting in touch with me in the first place and showing me around your clinic because. I'll be totally honest, I didn't know this place existed and I'm really happy that you brought it to my attention for all of my subscribers out there. So thanks once again and it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Same here, thank, thank you. you. Alright, okay. see you around for sure. See you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you found that useful. I certainly did and you can put your worries at rest. If you really do need medical attention, looks like this place is on the ball. So check it out. All the details will be in the link below in the description. And uh, as always, until next time, stay awesome.